songs, uh, I wrote this song a year ago when I was in LSU. That's a long time ago, huh? Um, yeah. I'll sing this. I'll tell you a second verse. It goes, I've been, I've been beaten, I've been bruised, and abandoned as well. I was wrongfully accused, you left me locked inside a cell. I've been cheated, I've been sued, but I have lived to tell. But the more you kick me when I'm down, the more it truly helps. My heart is like a piston. My brain is like an engine. Turn the keys to my ignition once my bad intentions bubble and brew. And I admit it. Yes, I am an addict. And yes, I have a habit. And yes, it's all because of you. God bless you all. I'm going to hell. You can try to stall, but you're coming as well. And if I shall die before I wake, at least you have a song to remind you of your mistake. That's it. Oh, there you have it. First time ever heard on Thrillmag.com. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That one's, uh, that one's, you're expecting that one to be a big hit? I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's, I wrote so many songs that I, I, I get so excited, man, because I can't believe it. I can't believe that. I've gotten so much better in here. You would think that I would, you know, stay the same uh, writing skill from when I came in, but I've gotten so much better, man. My vocals, I can sing so much higher now, and it's just beyond anything I've ever even imagined I would be able to do. It's probably because all I do is write, like eight hours a day. Well, you know, while uh, everybody else out there, like, you can't just be while they're eating dinner, I'm writing. When they're sleeping, I'm writing. When they're playing the same song that they've been playing for a year, I'm writing new songs, you know. When they're drinking beer and having a good time, I'm writing. So it's like, all I'm doing is writing music, that's it. There's nothing else besides exercising, it's writing music. So, you know, you can only imagine, man. That's all I do. With all these new songs, when can we expect some touring, a new album, and some more, you know, great music videos? Oh, music videos. <laughs> Uh, you know, um, pretty soon, man. I mean, not touring. Touring will be, uh, 2010, probably. To, the touring thing and the, the record, the, the record that we're making will probably be, will come out in 2010. Not, not any, in this year or whatever, but, um, yeah, next year, music videos, uh, probably music, couple music videos, um, there's a lot of business stuff that I gotta take care of before I do all that, you know. But uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to get out and go straight to recording a record immediately. That's, that's my first initial goal, is to get out and fly to Virginia and record this record. I got a lot to say, you know? Yeah, well, it's you know, highly anticipated. It sounds like it's right around the corner. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it is. It's crazy. Uh, I'm getting really anxious, man. It's right, it's right around the corner. Um, I didn't think, I didn't think time flew that fast, man. I didn't think that I would be almost out, out of here, man. It, it really is. I'm almost out of here. It's crazy. Yeah, well, your fans are definitely waiting on them, and, you know, speaking of your fans, we have, uh, we have a few questions from our Throwback Contest winners. Uh, okay. Question here from Jenna of Santa Cruz, Finland. Wow. And, uh, Jessica Blackburn of the UK, they ask you, what is the first thing you are going to do when you get out? That is so funny that you asked that. Like, I had a dream that you would ask that. I had a crazy dream last night, too. I'll tell you about it. But uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to a Narcotics Anonymous meeting. I'm going to carpool with, with all women. I'm going to bathe in estrogen. And then, <laughs> after I go to the Narcotics Anonymous meeting, I'm probably going to, I don't know, hang out with my friends. And, you know, I don't know. Uh, the obvious. I don't know. Even estrogen, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I need I need women around me, or uh, specifically Megan Megan Fox, probably. Megan Fox, I'll be there with you on that one for sure. Yeah, or Katy Perry, They're either either or, you know. But um, yeah, I'll probably be an estrogen carpool with all women to a narcotics anonymous meeting. Sounds <laughs> like a plan. I'm thinking about that dream you had. The dream, I had a dream last night, man. It was so weird. I had a dream that I saw Max. He was eating, a, he was eating barbecue at the work tour. And he's like, and he said, man, you stole my band name. I was like, what are you talking about? No, I, no, I, no, I didn't. And all of a sudden, a, dra a giraffe, a giraffe head came down and took one of his hamburgers and then just disappeared, man. It just stole his head. That was it. That was my dream and I woke up. Is that weird? Wow, that is weird. <laughs> That's so strange. Yeah, that's my dream. 
Well, and that had to do with the, what is the first thing you're going to get out? How does that apply? No, I don't know. I just, I just thought of that dream. I don't know. <laughs> That's a work dream, buddy. <laughs> I don't know. That's something yeah. else. Well, we got a few more questions here from fans. Um, Elise from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, she asked, how many songs have you written since you've been in jail? Okay, before I answer that, she's from Pittsburgh. Yep. Go Steelers, by the way. Football season came around last year. They won the Super Bowl. I'm really stoked. I hope they win again. But, um, cool. She's from Pittsburgh. Anyways, uh, I don't know. I have a lot. I have about probably uh, 200 songs. About uh, 150 to 200 songs. Wow. Uh, half written songs. I got about 70 written songs, lyrics, lyrics wise. You know, um, you know, I don't know. A lot of songs. That's all I do. Wow. And uh, Jessica from Hampton, Virginia, she asks, where do you get your inspiration for writing your lyrics? Um, I don't know. I just, I just very, I just, you know, I'm, all, I'm honest with myself. When I break it down, when I break it down to writing, I'm just really honest with myself. You just got to be honest with yourself. That's what band, most bands lack is when the singer is not honest with himself. When you, when you, when you, Become honest, and uh, you write it down. Like when you're writing some, something, and you say, "Maybe I shouldn't say that." No, that means you should say it. You know, um, you gotta wear your heart on your sleeve most of the time when you write when you write lyrics. That's my opinion. You know, um, I don't know. That's why I just to be truthful with myself. We have one more fan question here, and this is Catherine from Los Angeles, California. And she asks, "What is your biggest regret?" The biggest regret. What is this? That was a good question. Hold on a second, let me think. Hmm. Biggest regret. Um, man, she stumped me real quick. I have a lot of regrets. The biggest regret is probably getting so, getting so strung out, you know, getting so strung out and looking in the mirror. It's like, you know, I, I ended up doing stuff to my, to my girlfriend, like, uh, I just started stealing. What? I ran out of money. Um, I, I went through thirteen thousand dollars in two months on drugs only wow. and, and gambling. So then I, I started stealing. Like that's ridiculous. Man. That's that's not me. You know. Um, I, that's my biggest regret is uh is breaking uh my girlfriend's heart and and let most of my friends down and my father too. That's my biggest regret. We have one special question here, and this question comes from Seta Freeman. Now, um, you should be familiar with the name, but if not, let me just refresh the, the, the fan. Oh, yeah, well, let, me, okay. let, let me refresh the fan's name. Seta Freeman is the mother of Michael Flint, the boy that was shot and killed that day in the desert that everybody's familiar with. Now, before I ask you this question from Seta, his mother, I want you to know that in my opinion, this, is, this does not come at you with any aggression or anger. As a matter of fact, after speaking on the phone with her, she wishes you the best of luck and that you were never the one she was after. Wow. So, with that being said, her question to you is, why do you continue to blame me for you being in jail? I don't. I don't, I, you know, when I first came in, I never, I never did. I was just angry. I don't blame her. Um, I blame my, myself, man. Um, I should have pleaded not guilty. <laughs> my freaking fault, you know, because the truth is, and she knows it, she knows it's the truth, I didn't, I didn't do anything, I didn't, I didn't hurt anybody, I didn't touch anybody, the only thing that I did wrong was show up, I shouldn't have did that, I shouldn't have went to, to a fight, um, and I want her to know that I don't blame her, you know what, I, I, I feel it. Her, she's a mother, or she lost her son, and, and she's doing whatever she can to get justice, and I understand that to the fullest extent. I understand where she's coming from in, in every angle. I understand she's angry. I understand that, that um, you know, I'm angry now. I'm angry at the actual people that, that did something, that did something that, that aren't getting any time. That I'm mad now. I'm not, I'm not on their side anymore. I'm not going to name their names, it's pretty obvious who they are, but I'm mad at them now. Because they spread, they continue to spread lies. And it's not fair. And life's not fair. I understand that, but this is, this is serious. This is something that I should not be in prison for. And I, but you know what, I'll take, I'll take, I'll take it like how it is, because I have to. You know, um, I don't, I want her to know that, 
you know, I, I don't blame her. That, it's so ridiculous if I, if I were to blame her. I know that I...